this is a package from Sourcebooks. Um, looks definitely um, astronomy oriented. Uh, I noticed there's just a ton of astronomy books lately. Um, I have a post on it, I keep updating it. I seem to be getting books related to space exploration almost weekly. Okay, so this package has these flyers. Um, and this looks like a STEM series for young kids. Um, and these are uh, like kind of like fun activity sheets that are included. Um, um, about the different um, uh, constellations. And here's a maze and coloring, like some kind of coloring sheet activity. Um, so this is great. I will see if these are online. Um, and then here we go. Here is the source books, um, new STEM books. Good Night Lab looks like a riff off uh, Good Night Moon, but some of these others look um, kind of original. And then here is a series of board books. Wow, on on kind of advanced STEM topics. Okay, so this is the ABC of Space. I think it's um. It's like note cards. A whole bunch of them. I'm not quite sure what that is. Also have in this box some purple yarn shoelaces. Uh, the first book is ABCs of Space. It's a board book um, and it has definitely advanced science co concepts um, for the alphabet as well as um, these like little paragraphs with a lot of detail. So it's not really for like a toddler, but you're sort of reading the top for the toddler, engaging them, and then like the bottom is for the the reader, maybe the adult. Um, but it looks fun, but it's a sort of an interesting adult and child combination. Eight Little Planets. Oh, I actually reviewed this um, for the Sybil's board book. And I thought this was a really cute book because it covers the colors, but it also has a lot of interesting little facts. Um, and this is just much more for a child center audience. Um, and it's, you know, it's pretty and it's fun. Twinkle, Twinkle Little Star. Um, looks like a riff of the song, but in a much more advanced astronomy way. Um, so it still looks like it keeps the, the song and the rhyming scheme, but it is just much more advanced. So I'm not quite sure what the audience is for this because kids who like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star might find these concepts to be too advanced. But that seems to be a trend, like very advanced STEM concepts for very little kids, just for, I guess, I think just for exposure. But um, I think you can also use this for older kids, although they might not like the picture book kind of nursery rhyme approach. So I don't know, it's, a, it's a, an edgy approach, I would say. Um, I'm not quite sure who it is. That. Um, and this last one is um, a riff off the moon landing by Susanna Leonard Hill, illustrated by Lisa Paganelli. And so let's see what this book is all about. Oh, this is fun. It has a QR code. So already it's a little bit advanced for kids who have cell phones. Um, but I think a lot of kids like using the phone. Um, and it's, uh, I thought it'd be rhyming, but it isn't. So it looks just like a, a story that covers um, the evolution of the planet. 
um, and how long it took, I think, for the moon to actually get their first visitor. So sort of like a history timeline um, for space exploration. So that's an interesting approach um, and looks fun and in, uh, I think engaging. Um, and here we have the moon as a character who is finally being visited. Um, and then another QR code at the back to hear Neil Armstrong's first words. Yeah, so this is all about space export, the moon in particular. And the last thing I have here is a poster. And this poster from Sourcebooks um, details their um, astronomy-focused books with these four books um, that we just uh, went over. And then also I opened the, the deck of cards that they sent which I thought was just a whole bunch of cards that were the same. It's actually two cards of each. So it's ABCs of space, and on the back of it, there is, you know, an alphabet and, um, like, what it is. And so that, that ties back to this book. So they basically broke it out into, like, a deck of cards, oh, which would make it easier to learn as well.